Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. And today, I've got my mate Jahin giving you tips on how to study better. For those of you who don't know who Jahin is, he's a second year medical student now, and he's so good at studying. I would treat everything he says like gospel. Please take notes. Everything will be in the timestamps in the description below. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh. Jahin, give us a study tip. All right, so my study tip is do past exams. So the best way to prepare for what's coming in the exams is to do the questions themselves before you get in. So you do the right sort of practice um, that will help you do the best. And when you practice past exams, you find out where your gaps are and you study those stuff that will help you with the actual exam itself. Study in groups because um, everyone could share their ideas and you could learn stuff from other people that you probably missed. But you should also try to keep um, banter. I mean, banter is good in groups, like, it just feels really nice. Um, but too much banter is also bad, so be careful of that. Take breaks. Um, yeah, it's important. You don't want to be studying, like, three hours, four hours on end, unless you're at that stage, but for most of us in first year, um, studying that long is just not productive. Take breaks, um, go to the gym, play, play sports, do something you love. Um, yeah, just it'll just make you more productive and more willing to study. It's more enjoyable. Just live your life, man. It's, life's not all about just, you know, getting good grades and doing well at uni. Um, keep a balance, do all the stuff you love, and, you know, everything will just fit together. Next step I have for you is pre-reading. So, for a lot of courses, it's really good to, well, the lecturers recommend that you pre-read um, before coming to the lecture, so you have, like, a vague idea of what's going to happen. But, to be honest, in my opinion, it might be different for other people, but I just found it useless reading from books. Um, but YouTube videos. YouTube is such a good resource. Um, just find what the topic is, watch a couple of videos on it, and bang, you should be ready for your lecture. But taking like one or two hours to pre-read for a lecture that's, that hasn't happened yet, and you don't know what's important, um, I find is a waste of time. So watch videos rather than reading. Oh yeah, so the next tip is using flashcards. So you might have to memorize a lot of stuff, uh, depending on what you're studying. Flashcards are really good to memorize content. That's, you know, you just don't get the first time around. Flashcards can just repeat everything. And sooner or later, you'll have stuff memorized, like bang. So, do you use actual flashcards? Hey? Eh? No, I use uh, this, this app called Onki. It's pretty good. It's online. Uh -huh. Yeah, all computerized. You can have image occlusion cards and memorize anatomy, which you might need to do. Okay, so an example of understanding concepts is say you're learning anatomy and you realize that you gotta memorize a muscle, which is called the subclavius. So if you think about the concept, sub means below, and this bone right here is the clavicle, and the subclavius muscle is right here under the clavicle, and that's why it's named the subclavius, because it's just below the clavicle. Alright, so my next study tip is uh, focus on the high yield information first. So you don't want to be the person who's just um, trying to memorize all these nitty gritty bits. Um, focus on what's important, the big picture stuff, and then go into those details, but yeah, 